Major Slack Attack. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Attack. Your first stop for titillating tactical Elden Ring gameplay. Um, we just finished leveling up our longbow to plus five, but we are not only a, an, an archer, we are also an Uchi Katana, a Katana Master, which means we're going to be going into close combat. And that sometimes means having the blood loss affliction uh, being hit by that, which is pretty deadly. Once that kicks in, you lose health really rapidly. We're experts at causing blood loss, but if we can dish it out, we should also be able to take it. And they're going to show you how to cure blood loss. This is very important. This is something that's going to serve you well throughout the rest of the game. First of all, let's go to uh, the Church of Ella. hope all of you by now are convinced of the power of crafting. Crafting rocks. And I believe there's one more cracked pot we can buy from this individual here. Let's do that right now. Buy that cracked pot. And hope everybody has a good supply of fire pots. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys all a homework assignment to craft up a whole, or rather, farm up a whole bunch of smoldering butterflies. I already showed you where to get this just north by northeast of the War Master Shack. That's where you can get some smoldering butterfly. And you can get some mushrooms way down here at the south end of Agio Lake. There's some mushroom right there. You can just go here, rest, grab the mushroom, go back, rest grab the mushroom and again again get yourself a whole bunch of mushrooms and smoldering butterfly that's your homework assignment all right um for the end of this video for now we are going to get the recipe book this starts off by going to storm hill shack yeah we're gonna get the recipe book to create stanching boluses hope i'm pronouncing that correctly i didn't bother to look it up stanching boluses will cure blood loss and that is located halfway up the secret passage that bypasses Stormville Castle in case you don't know about this here at Stormville Stormville Shack you typically take this curving road around here and then you come down here and you meet Margaret the Fell do that boss fight there then you start the Stormhill Castle run Stormhill Castle run finishes off here in this area here you do the guard brick the graft it's uh boss fight and then you end up in the throne room here and then this pops you out into a new area a big new area called Lyurnia of the Lakes which is this whole northern section right here just north of Limgrave. You don't have to fight Margaret the Fell or um, Godric the Grafted to get past that area. You can actually go through a secret passage right here Okay, you usually take this curved road around, but instead you can just go straight underneath this bridge up here. Talk to this NPC, go along to this bridge. The bridge is broken, but you just jump down here. Go up here, and then you find this kind of like skinny kind of ravine slash tunnel that goes all the way up and pops you out right here at the same spot that you would come out had you fought God with the Grafted. And right here, that's where the recipe book is for... Stanching Boluses, Nomadic Warriors Cookbook number seven. Let me just get rid of my other That's where we're going right now. Those soldiers we can easily wipe them out with a couple of fire pots, which is a really fun way to do them. Do them in. Here's some mushrooms. Actually, it's best to wait till they're all grouped together. Patience is a virtue, people. Here they come. Wait till they come back at the end of their patrol route. Throw a firebomb. Should be able to get two with one. Fire bombs ready. Wait till they stop. Let them have it. 
Hey, stop. The power of fire pots. You want to do everything the hard way? Be my guest. Everybody else, follow me. <laughs> okay, so like I said, you typically curve around there to take on Stormville Castle and Market the Fell, etc., etc. Instead, push into this kind of like this dark wooded area here. Pretty much due north. And I have a newfound respect for Roa fruit. You find this road here and follow this road up. Show you the map where I am. Let's have a little chit chat with good grief. <laughs> Please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Okay. Oh, bless you. Oh. Head to the foundation of gold tarnished. Traverse Rhea Lucaria. Glintstone even died and reunite the half crescents at the grand lift. Oh, but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. Only why should that matter? Stormvale Castle still stands tall. Here we go, some nice happy thoughts from Crone the... I believe her name is Crone the Finger Reader. Okay? And I'll repeat all that later on when it's relevant. That's not relevant right now. Let's just continue on our own personal mission here. Right up to the end of this bridge here. Find this dead body. And on his corpse is always the... Da -da 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 -da, Nomadic Warriors Cookbook number 7. This means that we can now create... Stanching Boluses. Okay, Stanching Boluses require Herba cave moss, and land octopus ovary. I'm going to show you how to get all three of these items, um, as many as you want. But for now, since we're halfway up this journey through the secret passage, let's just complete it so that we can get to the side of grace, which is right here, so that we can use that later on to get into the Lyurnia of the Lakes District. And I suggest you do this part on foot. Because there's lots of ingredients and stuff to um, get on the way. This is the Ash of War Storm Storm Wall, I believe. A couple of mighty shots should do this in. Strike that. One shot. Yeah, one shot with a regular arrow, and you got yourself the Ash of War Storm All. Very good. Okay, so there's a lot of wolves um, up ahead. The loadout I recommend is your Uchi Katana and your Beast Crest Heater Shield. Don't forget guard counter works just as well on wolves. Often you have to wait till they do the second hit. Am I heavy loaded? No, I'm medium loaded, okay. Collect all these row of fruit. These are actually, um, I have new, like I said, I have new, newfound respect for row of fruit. Kill any of those that you see. Good for thin beast bones.
Okay, we're in doggy country. We'll probably take out a couple of them. Like that, just to thin their numbers. Worth an arrow and some FP so that they don't come at you. Shrooms here. And another trio of wolves here. Once again, thin their numbers. That's right, doggy. See, they're working you now, eh? They always do this. One comes at you and then the other one flanks you. It's sneaky sons of bitches. See that? And Lyurni of the Lakes, we have arrived. Should be a side of grace just up ahead here. Great, so this will be there. Table this for a later date. We now have an entry into this whole area here. And as you can see, there is a map fragment right there. We just get there, we can map out this whole area. Table that for a later date, for now. What is wrong with my game here? It won't... Uh-oh, I think the game crashed. Uh, the game crashed on me. Okay, I'm better now. Um, that was unusual. Alright, so like I said, we've got this Site of Grace discovered here. We have an entry into the Lyurnia of the Lakes District. And we'll table this for a later date. Let's continue with, uh, we also have the recipe for Stanching Boluses. Uh, I'm going to show you how to farm all the ingredients for Stanching Boluses. Right now, let's just take a little look-see. It requires Herba, Cave Moss, and Land Octopus Ovary. Let's do it in the order that it appears. Herba! Go to Church of Ella, and there's one herba right there. We just turn around right from the uh, the drop-off point, and there's one right here. Grab it. Return, rest, recharges, and rinse, repeat. Okay, as many times as you like. I already have some... I have six. Next. Okay, so that's part of your homework assignment as well. Farm up a whole bunch of herba. And I'm Canadian, so we pronounce the H in herb. I know that in the States it's pronounced herb, I think, I believe. Um, yes, I'm Canadian, so we do the British pronunciation, which is herb. The normal pronunciation. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Next, cave moss. You can find a ton of cave moss in Grosside Cave. We've already discovered this. It's right in between Gatefront and the Church of Ella. Grosside Cave. Bunch of wolves in there, but there's a whole bunch of cave moss in there as well. Best way to deal with this is once again, there's like an alpha wolf in there. 
And your best loadout, instead of the Uchikatana, is the torch, believe it or not. This is actually a formidable weapon. And a strong attack with the torch will instantly kill most wolves. The only thing I have to worry about is this alpha wolf right there. That guy right there. So two mighty shots. Go at him hard. Before he gets underway. And then switch over to your torch and just take care of all the other wolves with your torch. Strong attack and that's it. Jump down, strong attack. And if you miss, just do a guard counter. Get some thin beast bones out of the deal. Let's take care of one more down here. Bad Wolfie. That's a done deal. Once you've done that, and the best thing about this is it lights up your way. Then you go back up to the top, collect all the cave moss. Just basically go clockwise around. Whoops, wait a minute. Sorry about that. Forget about those guys here. More cave moss down here. And you can just use this fast travel thing to get back to the beginning, rinse and repeat as many times as you like to get up all the cave moss you could so desire. By this point you should have enough money to level up. Points into vigor until further notice. Yeah, we, we got to start tanking up. Okay, and increase our health. Next, land octopus ovary. Lots of land octopi can be found in the ravine just below Saint's Bridge. Right here, Saint's Bridge. For land octopi farming, you'll want to set your flasks to all health. Just for a little security, okay? Won't be needing FP that much. And let's wait till daytime because it's going to be dark down there, so get a lot of light on the scene. Noon. Land octopus, land octopi, rather. Use a proper plural, plural, uh, they're vulnerable to hemorrhaging, and we have a couple of great Uchikatanas, one with the determination skill on it. Use that, and make sure you have your shield in your left hand. That's very important, because they can pack a punch. They could take it down in New York Minute. And your bow with blood bone arrows ready to go. Okay, that's your loadout. From this point here, See this little ledge here? You can climb up this little ledge. And you're going to find a spirit spring right... See that wind there? So you can just double jump over the, onto the spirit spring and this will let you down gently. And immediately turn to the right and run up the ravine here. And start with this guy right here. All these land octopi have a high chance of dropping land octopus ovary. I think it's almost 100%. Maybe not, but it's very good risk. Oh yeah, and these dragonflies, best way to deal with them is guard counter. Just lock on, wait till it attacks you, guard counter, and it's a done deal. Takes a little patience, but they're really annoying. So you want to take care of these guys. That's all there is to it, right? So take care of him. 
switch over to your bow, blood bow and arrows. You're going to hit him with a couple of arrows. This will stack up this will stack up the hemorrhaging affliction on him and then we're going to rush him with the Uchi Katana and just attack him until he goes down and then you're going to see a little bright orange light on his like face or beak or whatever and that indicates that you could do a critical hit hit that with an attack and you'll do a critical hit do massive damage and then finish him off that's the plan let's do it a couple of blood bone arrows one two switch over to the Uchi Katana rush up keep your guard up There he's down. Your critical hit and he's done. Now I took a lot of heat, this is to be expected, so keep an eye on your health and refill as necessary. That's why I had you switch everything over to your flask. And did he give up? Uh, that's the whole point, sorry. <laughs> he gave up. I've never seen these guys not give up a land octopus ovary. There you go. Let's go do another one. Let's do this one next. There's two over there. You gotta want to, you want to draw one of them away. But we'll work on this one next. Same deal. A couple of hemorrhaging blood bone arrows. Oh, it already kicked in. Okay. that easy and he gave up a land octopus ovary like I said I've never seen these guys not give up one okay there's two grouped over here you want to draw one out because when, you, when you're dealing with these guys two at the same time here I kicked in the hemorrhaging right away. You could just go all arrows, but what's the point using up your blood bone arrows when you don't have to? You could just use your Uchi Katana. Take a little heat, like I said. Now on the O's. Critical hit. Oh yeah, who's your daddy? Refill. And once again, I forgot to collect the... Yep, every single time. Seems like 100%. Let me know in the comment section if you're getting 100% drops of Land Octopus Ovary from these guys. Down it goes. Bad octopus. Bad. That's your punishment. 100% land octopus ovary. And you're also making a pretty penny doing these two. This is an example of using just blood bone arrows to take him down. But like I said, you can save on blood bone arrows um, by going at it with the Uchi Katana. Alright, so there we go. We got a great big supply of land octopus over here. So that's it. That's all three ingredients we need to make stanching bolses. Let's make up some. Let's make five. And 
hot key those because they're going to be very useful. For what's coming up next. And we're good to go. Oh, there's the Trina's Lily here. I didn't know that. That's useful. Okay, so. Y'all got some farming to do. Like I said, I want everybody to farm up a big supply of smoldering butterfly. Found at this location here. Just look for the, the curve ridge here, which is just north by northeast of Warmaster Shack. Then go down to Aguil Lake South. Actually, I invented a nice little farming run that starts off at Warmaster Shack. If you start here, turn around, grab the mushroom behind the shack. Grab these two root resins here because you could use those to make fire grease, which is also uh, fire grease and smoldering butterfly. Then turn to the northeast and you go straight for this unmarked camp here. Don't worry about the camp. Go to the left side of the camp behind this building here. Mushroom there, another mushroom there. Then follow the cliff's edge on your right. straight north to these two fire slugs. I've showed you this before. Grab up all these tons of smoldering butterfly here. Which we now know are useful for a number of recipes. Get rid of those fire slugs sometimes to give up some more smoldering butterfly as this one did. And finally Go to the east to this building here, and there's the mushroom here. There you go. Those are the ingredients for fire pots. Instant batch of fire pots. Do that little run there. Plus, you have some ingredients to make some fire grease. I believe we have the recipe for that right away. Yep, we do. Root resin and smoldering butterfly. Okay, so I want everybody to farm up a whole bunch of smoldering butterfly and root resin. And like I said, then... Head to Aguil Lake South. Grab that mushroom. Rest. Grab that mushroom. Rest. Rinse, repeat. It's really easy. All right. So when we start the next episode, I, I hope everybody's going to have a big supply of smoldering butterfly, which can be used in a number of different recipes. And mushroom so that at that point, fire pots will no longer be an issue. We can throw fire pots with reckless abandon. <laughs> okay? That's important. We're going to be using fire pots a lot. Something I just realized recently, fire pots actually um, they scale with strength. Where is this? Look at that. They actually scale with strength and dexterity, but mostly strength. So yeah, the higher your strength, I'm assuming the more powerful the fire pots. That's it. And um, 
what's coming up next we're going to be using those stanching boluses so make sure you got some of those okay so thanks a lot for watching and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative you know what to do give me a thumbs up subscribe post a comment stuff like that there see you next time when we go for the bloodhounds fang weapon this kick-ass weapon that's going to be really useful to help take down bosses all right see you next time Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.